Use this. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight, we're back in stasis, uh, and here we are. We're in the security office. Last time we picked up this holographic dancer so that we can tra uh, trigger the motion detector and get into life support. Uh, without further ado, let's just go in there and see what we got here. Uh, life support machinery. These pumps manage the dispersal and collection of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other atmospheric compounds throughout the ship. Uh, atmospheric control access terminal. This console provides access to the atmospheric controls that make life possible aboard the vessel. And... Slumped over body, rigor mortis has left this body a parody of a worker managing the controls. Okay, well, let's check out the body first. Probably they have a PDA or something. Perfect. Ronald Anderson. Ah, oh, see, I like it when they have the dates here because then I don't have to flip back. September 23rd. Is this it? Could this really be my golden opportunity? I've been transferred to security with a guy named Paul and some other guy, whose name I don't quite remember. It sounded kind of like Sarge, so I'm just going to call him Sarge. Either way, I'm glad. Maybe I'll make real friends. Oh man, all these people are misanthropes. Number 24, Paul, I mean. But Sarge is okay. November 20, November 6th. It looks like food supplies aren't coming in anytime soon. People seem upset, but there's a lot of alcohol around. I don't drink much because my, my dad used to, and it got scary sometimes. Sarge is still nice when he's drunk, though. Even though he said I'd make a pretty girl. Mm. Uh, December 6th. We got a mystery package from the cloning vats today. I was even allowed to type the terminal entry. What is this guy's thing? It's supposed to go to lab 18. Sarge says we're going to put it in a medical storage bay, bay for now, though. It makes really scary noises. It's named Samantha. I like uh, I liked the girl named Samantha once, but then this guy, Anthony, was stalking her, and then she moved away. Paul just read that over my shoulder and reminded me that the PDAs are for work-related logs only. I don't like Paul. Sarge said I can type whatever I want. Number 19. This whole ship just shook a whole lot. Power's out everywhere. Everything's locked down, but we can get through some of it because we're security. Uh, I hope nobody got hurt when things were flying around in here. 24th, people are trying to get Tram Station B to work because A is closed. Yeah, by the way, that's where we're going right after this is Tram Station B. I'm assuming we have to vent the gas that's in there right now. And the 25th, I think we killed some people today. Sarge is angry. He's beating on the window. I am so confused. This is like this weird, like, naivete thing going on. <laughs> that said, what... Looks like, uh, looks like one of them dancing dames. All right, admit, well, two tickets. You so young. Focus, John. Have a heart. Some of them are just fucking kids, Tia. Don't you think I know that? You've only been awake a few hours now. I've been dealing with this for, for it seems like, a lifetime. I'm sorry. You're right. Let's just get on with this. Don't listen to her, John. She's she's playing you, man. She's, like, working on this ship. Voluntarily on this ship. So, no. All right, let's go to the control axis here. Okay, atmospheric controls. Venting procedures. Vent atmosphere in tram B. Attention. Atmosphere vented in tram station B. Excellent. Let's go take a look at the cameras real quick. Uh, run, man. Come on. We don't have time for you to walk. Uh, we can't pick this up anymore, no. Okay, fine. That could have been useful. It could have been like a nice decoy. Let's look at the security terminals. Uh, oh, there it is. This is tram station B, I'm pretty sure. And I think it's just been, uh, you know, all the gas has been vented. It used to have like a big old skull and crossbones on there, but not anymore. What do we have in our... We just have our drill, but our drill is like super multi-purpose. Let's go. Let's go to Tram B. I'm pretty sure that's the last area. Now, this is where we saw Samantha and then got chased out by something horrifying that ate a dead body that was here. Uh, okay, let's go. So this is the club. We went to the club last time. This is the, the crew quarters. We saw that before. Elevator gate. Thank you. God, once in a while, I just hear them scream, huh? Uh, monitors are off. This we use to climb up. Okay, let's open this up. Door locked due to atmospheric control override. Override lock and open door. Yes. 
Nice. I'm sure that if we hadn't vented the, the gas in there, we'd probably die if we tried that. Okay, here goes. I found her. Your daughter is in the medical bay. Alright, let's do this. Liar. Liar. I don't trust you for a bit. Um, really wish we had a map. I don't know what's there, and there's a lot of blood there. Let's not go there now. Go here first. Seems like the path less traveled. Specimen transport. Ah, so that's where we are. Uh, specimen transport container. A faint scratching noise is coming from the plastic box. Okay. Switchboard. No description. Specimen transport container. Black resin permeates through small perforations in the crate's wall. Now, all of these, if they're really crates, probably means they have horrible genetic monstrosities in them. All right, let's look at the first crate. Project Kitchen Knife. Yeah, we read about that. This was like in the first... Uh, when we first woke up, somebody in product storage, which is where we woke up from uh, cryo sleep, was sent to Project Kitchen Knife. Anything? No, come on. No, is there nothing? Nothing? Nothing I can click on? Exit. Fine. What about this? Limb regeneration. Okay. Uh, we know that from a number... I don't know what this is, though. Maybe this is like a barcode type thing? I know... Uh, we know that from... Uh, what do you call it? From the logs of a number of people, they were looking for replacement limbs and organs. So, okay, that makes sense. Oh my god. No destination set. I see. Oh, I see. Okay, that's what. We, that's why we need to know. Let's leave for now. We don't know where we have to go. I'm assuming we have to bust in here, but not yet. Let's go through the bloody doorway. Uh, I'm assuming that, you, you know, we learn the barcodes, and then we have to set the destination so that we can basically shoot ourselves to a particular place. And I, I'm going to go ahead and guess we're going to have to go to Kit Project Kitchen Knife. My guess. Tia, tram is not operational. What do you mean? Can you fix it? No. No, I don't think so. There is no other way out of there. There has to be. Let me look around. Fuck, this is all falling apart. What gave it away, Tia? Come on, man. Just stick with it. All right, let's see what else we got. By supporting Kane security officials in a positive manner. <laughs> I like that. In a positive manner. Yeah, don't go and don't tell them to go to hell. Alright, specimen transport container. The plastic container has been seen its fair share of use. The sealed lid of the container is caked in a reeking green mold. A skull and crossbones warning sticker peels up at its edge, indicating that this container was once used to transport dangerous cargo. Um what else we got? What else we got? Nothing. Destroyed tram. Yeah, this is why you can't fix it. A gnarled wreckage of twisted steel sits hazardously in wait. Uh, corpse. Roger Kalen, quartermaster. Personal data, uh, data tag 83773. Security level 2. Is there anything else we can look at? No. Okay, so, you know what I'm going to do? Pardon me for a second. I just grabbed my sheet of paper to take notes on, because that's what we do in this game sometimes. Sometimes. There aren't that many notes. Uh, but let's see, because I'm assuming each one of these is going to have a different code on it. Let's take a look. Project Seed. Okay. What? Oh, nothing. Just reading out loud. Okay. Fine. What else we got? Come on, man. This one was for hydroponics. Okay, and this one... Medical? <sighs> medical bay. This is it. Okay, so here we go. It's a... just a U. Straight U, and then this weird little stepped thing that has like a... It's a weird T, right? This like weird T thing. And then a squiggle. They're all squiggles, but I don't know how to describe this any better like that. Okay, let's hope I can actually reproduce that. Let's go to specimen transport. Um, 
and go ahead and input into the control panel the it's the U. There we go. That's one. Then we need this weird T thing. This thing. Then we need not that not that squiggle. It has a little like. No, no, that's it. Destination set, medical bay. Perfect. Let's leave. <sighs> My question is, can we come back here? Because uh, I have a lot of questions about, like, can we go see Project Kitchen Knife? Can we, you know what I mean? Like, I would love to go see all those other locations. And what I will do... Uh, give me a second, I'm going to save the game right here, and I'm going to see, maybe on my own time, and then if, if it works, I'll film it, whether we can go to those other locations. Give me one second. Alright, hey guys, so I'm back. Uh, just save the game just so that I have a placeholder in this location. Uh, so let's get in the specimen crate and go to medical first, and then we'll see uh, where we go from there. This is either brilliant or very, very stupid. I'm gonna say both. Quantum devices are not permitted in specimen storage. Quarantine procedures initiated. Quantum storage device reset. Okay, let's see what we can see. It definitely looks like the medical facilities. I think I'm on the right track. Yeah, you're on the medical bay level one. Your daughter is four decks below you. She is so close, John. So close. All right. Uh, the one thing I will say is they took my drill. No. Ah, fine. Um, okay, so here we are. We're in medical. Let's see what we can see first of all. Shut down terminals. These terminals control various elements of this apparatus, but every single one of them is dead. Uh, the machinery may run diagnostics on the specimens that arrive via the tube. Hanging wires due to non-public access. Not much care was taken to secure these exposed wires. Okay. Right, that's it. Red glow from tube. The internal... The infernal glow of these lights is not comforting. Yeah, well, I'm with you, John. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. I really... I don't believe Taya for a second. Where she's like, Your daughter's so close! This is strange. I'm not reading any PDTs in your area. They should remain active. Even on a de- Tell me, John. Why are you working with this jackal? Dr. Milan. Ah. <sighs> She's been talking about me. Look, I'm nobody. I just want to find my family. Without a family. And alone in the world. Damn us with the cold. Are you trembling, John? Because make no mistake. You are alone. This is all too much for me, too. I'm just a school teacher. I can promise you that I want to find your family as much as you do. We're in this together. Well, she's lying. Also, I like Dr. Milan. He seems like a real stand-up guy. Alright, here we go. Uh, we saw two guns come out, but let's take a look around the room before we just move and do something horrible. Um... Blood stains. Dark blood spatters the walls, but most disturbing is the lack of any cadavers among the gore-soaked carnage. 
indentation in the floor. This section of the floor features a rectangular indentation. It's strangely clean in comparison with the other blood spattered sections of the floor. That's because the guns come out here. Blood stains. Not one body can be seen among the debris. Juca Cola vending machine. This vending machine has been knocked over, but probably not by an employee. The Kane Corporation certainly didn't subsidize the price of these sodas. Ooh. Can we? Uh, well, let's see. Crate. This crate is locked and not opening anytime soon. Blood stains. This area has been witness to carnage yet no bodies lit. Yeah, we get that. Blood, but no bodies. The view through this sliding glass door is obscured by dried red jets of liquid. Mm-hmm. All right, and that's the exit. I am assuming that if I just move here, horrible things will happen to me. So instead, why don't we move like this? Okay, there's a Juca Cola machine. Good old Juca Cola banned in several colonies. Juca Cola is highly addictive, absurdly potent blast of sugar and stimulants. Use this. <laughs> Okay, I didn't need to hear that anymore. Okay, let's, um... Can we throw this? I can't see it working like that. Can we throw this at the indentation? That's the idea. This isn't gonna work. No. Can we use it again? Never like Jukakula. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, we can use it as a shield! The loosely hanging insulated cable sways gently to a silent tune. I don't imagine we have to we can grab this, right? Because look, it's sparking and stuff. Yeah, I'm not Can you kill yourself? No? No. Yes! Perfect. <laughs> God. I was concerned there for a second. Okay. Um this isn't gonna no? work. Okay. I thought I thought you could use it as a lure, because I have the suspicion that these are like motion sensing guns. There we go. There we go. Oh man. God, that song is the worst. What do we got? Bloodstains. Okay, what if we just go over here like this? Nice. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Alright, we're back here. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, I guess the entire floor is, uh, is controlled. I thought we could probably sneak by and maybe use this as cover, but no. And then I realized... Check that out. Exposed duct. Shredded metal tiles reveal a service duct below. Let's go to the service duct instead of having to try and run our way straight to this door. Okay, come on. Go down there, John. Hopefully it's not lined with deadly, deadly... No, there are bodies, though. Let's see what we can see. Uh, sentry gun computer control. Very nice. This terminal is connected to the turret nearby. A stack of empty Coca-Cola cans sits below. Huh. A pistol? A faint smell of gunpowder lingers around the empty emptied weapon. Okay, so we don't have bullets for it or anything. Slowly spinning fan. A sickening odor of death and rot wafts into the room, making you gag from its nauseating scent. Okay. I see a body, I know. Slowly spinning fan shadow. The fan shadow is unnerving, having you nervously checking the periphery of your vision for the movement you swear you saw. Slow spinning fan, the air in the tunnel alternates between stale and putrid with decay. Alright, let's pick up the pistol first. Central gun base, the inactive gun sleeps silently. Oh, I see, so this is the other gun here. Can you, like, crawl faster, John? No? No. I feel like if you go fully prone, it could actually help you out on this one, but... I mean, what do I know, right? Nice. Okay, so we got a, uh, let's see, we got a pistol, we got a cola can, and we got these cables. Dead body. This was no safe haven for this poor soul. Alright, let's see. He's probably got a PDA on him. He's probably gonna give us an idea of what happened in medical now. Found a body, too. He's pretty bloodied up. Hmm, interesting. This is a little bit more complex. Alright, let's read these first. May 18th. 
more power outages today. D oh, no, hold on. Back. Steven Dryson. There we go. Damn it, I thought they had a lid on that. People have been way crankier than usual. One of my boys just broke down today, shaking and scratching like he was suffering from withdrawal or something. I checked with the nurses who examined him, and it seems like there was some sort of drug in his system. He swore blind he wasn't dirty and hadn't been taking anything, but they're already preparing a tribunal for the poor guy. Thing is, I believe him. Everybody's been acting a bit peculiar lately. You think they're drugging people, man? November 6th. What's happening to my beautiful ship? That crap is growing up the spine of this baby like a cancer. I keep mailing Dr. Milan about this, but he hasn't responded to any of my messages. I know he's reading them, because I get more of those stooges from hydroponics down to collect samples whenever I send more than a few words his way. I managed to corner his assistant the other day and demanded to know when we'd be getting our share of the rations. She looked at me like she hadn't slept in a week and said, Soon. None of us are sleeping properly. I try to greet each day with a smile, but the wrenches are getting panicky if not mutinous. I spend my time breaking up fights instead of maintaining the engines. I was thinking of taking a group down to the engine ports and torching that, shi that shit off the hull, but I'm worried it's too late for that now. December 20th. No more engineers, no more hope. When you take those things away, you got nothing left. Engineers and hope? Well, hope maybe. I'm dictating this wedged under the main security terminal, so he's here. I don't think any of those things will hear me. The rest of the survivors are holed up in the bulkheads, but nobody was willing to risk leaving until we had some sort of protection. I pointed out we'd either starve or die anyway, so they voted overwhelmingly for me to try and get help. So I came down here through one of the maintenance access tunnels and programmed the security terminal to mark any individuals with their PDT still implanted as host oh God, as hostiles. That should at least get the turrets on our side. I'm not sure it'll work, but it's all I could do. I'm alone now. Hell, I'm used to it. Never met the right girl and all that. I'm pretty sure I had Lotus screaming, you know. They're probably all dead now, but I can't know for sure. I could hear those things peeling panels off the floor and walls like they were paper, and I'll be damned if they'll find me cowering under the floor like that. Guy Fox jumped with the noose around his neck when he was about to be executed. Did you know that? They were going to half strangle him and then rip him to pieces, but he cheated his executioners, breaking his own neck before they could carry on torturing him. I'm going to do likewise. Got a gun for my protection, see? Only one bullet left. But no matter, I'll only need one. Interesting. Notices and reports. Ray, personal data tags. Dr. I. Al Rajkubar. To all staff, Ray, personal data PDTs. Dear all, for those of you who are still able to receive these messages on the intranet, you'll note by now that the creatures are using our PDTs to proceed past security checkpoints. Really? To prevent this, I have decided that each in turn you'll proceed under armed guards to the primary surgery pod where your PDTs will be removed. Once this is done, we will reprogram the security protocol so that they will target all creatures that still possess these tags. Do not answer the doors to your quarters unless confirmed by the designated password. Today that word is Aegis. Very interesting. I get the sensation I'm going to have to rip something out of my body soon, by the way. Emails. Dr. S. Dryson to all engineers ray the situation. This is how it is. The unidentified substance is still spreading. It's fouled up engine ports D through G, and after a brief confab with the, bre with the drive engineers, I can tell you that it's having a detrimental effect on the efficiency and speed of the engines. The long and short of it is that the ship is seriously slowing down. The only thing accelerating is the speed of the fungal growth. Its origin is unknown, although we're narrowing it down. This is a crisis situation. Use the hardest stuff you can find to remove it from the fixtures and drive plates without actually endangering the protective casing of the drive cores. Good luck, guys. Steve Dryson, Chief Systems Engineer. Okay, so this is whose PDA we're reading right now. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's deactivate the gun first. Come on, man. Muscle through. Okay. A is done. B. Yeah. Maintenance overdrive. Uh. Wait, yeah, come on, K and anti personnel systems. Replace cable sleeving. Nah, nah, nah. Terminals connected to a stack of empty Juca Cola cans. Can we do something with the Juca Cola can? Ah! <laughs> Perfect. I actually didn't see that one until I, you know. I didn't realize that was going to work until uh, I did it. Interesting. All right, let's go back up. Um, 
come on, John. This, this is this is. I say this like you know, in a crisis atmosphere, I'd be faster than this. Come on. Okay, so that gun is down. I can now go check out. Let's, let's just make sure I don't die. There we go. Now take a look. I hate doors. One override coming up. You go, Taya. Shit, John. The security systems in medical are inaccessible. It's like they've been locally reset. I can't access anything. I'll think of something. Mm-hmm. What do we got? Um. Oh. We shoot it? Come on, it's a minigun. My Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, there we go. School teacher, huh, John? Alright, relax, man. Wow. What a rush. I hear ya. Alright, let's go through this door, and depending on where we end up, we may call it there. Warning. This area is off limits to all active PDT users. Please see your supervisor for further instructions. That makes no sense. All PDTs. That's everyone. They must have changed security settings. Stop anyone from heading down below. Or coming up. Okay. Um, let's just quickly look around. Destroys sentry gun. Seem like there's more sentry guns. There's probably one over here or something. PDA, PDA, portal, doors. This guy's leads to reception. I don't know where this leads. Okay. Uh, you know what? We're gonna call it here, and then when we come back. Uh, we'll just continue on from here. I'm assuming we're gonna have to get the PDT out of this guy, out of John. Uh, which means we'll, we'll have to perform surgery in ourselves. Yes. Okay, so, uh, in the meantime, if you guys enjoyed that, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, lets me know that I'm doing something right, lets me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have, uh, thoughts on maybe I'm overlooking something, I could be doing something differently, if you have ideas about the story, by all means, leave a comment, everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better,